I think it feels great when you ship a new feature and you read in reviews all over the place that people really love it. Those are great moments and um, we celebrate each of them with champagne. <laughs> KeepSafe is a tool that allows you to take control of your privacy on your smartphone. So we've started with a tool to protect your pictures um, on your Android or your iPhone, um, to export it from your normal photo gallery and import it to a private uh, KeepSafe that's locked with a pin code. And basically what we do is like when we ship a new feature, is we give it to 1% of our user base and then we monitor with criticism how it's performing. And if it performs well in terms of it's not crashing and, and adoption is right, then we turn it up to 5% or 10% of the users. And when, when it's still performing well and not crashing on more devices out there, then we turn it on for 100% of our users. So we've improved the quality by using criticism, by not exposing users to potential bugs. So criticism helped us a lot because it's, it's the first time we get insights of what actually happens on the devices. And um, we have here about seven devices where we test the application before we ship it. But by the amount of devices that's out there, um, and Google being an open platform that each uh, manufacturer and each carrier can basically modify before they ship it on the devices, um, criticism gives us the opportunity to monitor when things break on devices that we don't have here in the office. That's what comes really handy and is really powerful to see what's going on out there. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you like a sense of control and knowing what's, what's going on, whereas otherwise you just fly blind and you see people writing reviews where it says like, oh, it crashes on this and this. So, yeah. so the switchboard uh, lets us allow to remote control the user experience of the app. So that allows us to run experiments to improve features and um, to turn stuff off that is not working. And it's like, think of it as a remote control for your application. So when we dial down on crashes, um, it's important to see what happened actually before. And um, it helps a lot to reproduce the bug, to see which screens the user went through before um, before the app crashed. So um, especially with, with things that happen when it's when repeated user actions are taken to make it crash. So if you do it once, it works fine, but if you do it like a 10 times quick, it breaks. And um, seeing that with breadcrumbs uh, helps to get an idea of how to reproduce the bug on your own. And over the time, we will be able to, to increase our average review from 4.7 to 4.8, which gives us now a five-star app in the Android market. So, and I'm, I'm sure that's part of it is that it's like just runs more stable and we see stability increasing um, with each release, basically. We're very happy with what we've achieved so far. Uh, we have lots on our roadmap, so we want to achieve a lot more. If you can see what's going on out there, uh, and you can see it in real time, that's the real value of criticism. It has helped us move faster, and by moving faster, you can give more to the users, and, uh, and that's also improved the experience. And we couldn't do that without criticism. Would you ever go back to, to not using criticism, to releasing apps the old way? You mean like just like closing my eyes and crossing the street? <laughs> <laughs>